Henrietta Hedgehog here with our friend Freddy the Frog. Today we're going to multiply fractions. And remember the answer is called a product. Everyone knows that 3 times 1 is 3, but did you know that 3 times a number less than 1 is a number less than 3? And 3 times a number greater than 1 is a number greater than 3? Okay, Freddy, 2 times 4 fourths equals 2. True or false? Remember, 4 fourths equals 1. Oh, it's true. Good. True or false? 2 times 3 fourths is a number less than 2. 3 fourths is less than 1, so that's true. Good. True or false? 2 times 5 fourths is a number greater than 2. 5 fourths is greater than 1, so that's true. Woo, I'm good. Hey, Henrietta, what can you tell me about the product of this expression? Well, half is less than one, so it's less than six-fifths. But six-fifths is greater than one, so it's greater than one-half. That's right, Henrietta. Each of four dogs drank two-thirds of a gallon of water. How many gallons of water did the dogs drink all together? Here's a model. Well, you can count from the model and see that it's eight-thirds. I could also merge these together, and it would make two whole gallons and two-thirds of another gallon. Two and two-thirds. Great, Freddie. We're going to use these models to show how to multiply three-fourths times one-half. What do you think the answer is, Freddie? Well, since red and blue make purple, and I see three purple pieces, I think it is three eight. There's three purple and eight total. Okay, Freddie had seven eighths of a fly pie left from yesterday. Oh, I love flying pie. He ate half of the leftover pie today. How much of a pie did Freddie eat today? Here's the problem. Here's the model. I took a rectangle and cut it in half one direction and shaded half and eighths the other direction and put polka dots on seven parts. So I see that there are 16 total parts and seven have double marks, seven sixteenths. Good, Freddie. Okay, Henrietta, two thirds of the students in Mrs. Jones' class have a dog. Two fifths of the students with a dog also have a cat. What fraction of the students in Mrs. Jones' class have both a dog and a cat? Here's the problem. Okay, let me make a model. Here's my model. Two out of five parts are shaded red, and two out of three parts have orange polka dots. I see that there are 15 total pieces, and four of those have both marks, four fifteenths. Good, Henrietta. Here's another one, Freddie. A picture is three-fourths of a meter wide and seven-eighths of a meter high. What is the area of the picture? In square meters, of course. I'm, I don't know. Imagine that we had a rectangle with eight parts going down and seven shaded and four parts going across and three shaded. What we see in purple is the double marks from our models. Oh, so there's eight and four, eight times four. There's 32 total pieces and seven rows of three, 21 are, double, are shaded. 21 30 seconds of a square meter. Good, Freddie. Okay, Henrietta, the search grid for a lost hiker is three-fifths of a mile wide and four-fifths of a mile long. What is the area in square miles of the search grid? Well, just like you said, I'm going to picture five columns and five rows because our denominators are five. There will be four shaded across and three shaded down. So five times five means 25 total pieces and four rows of three would give me 12 that are shaded. So it's 12 25ths of a square mile. Woo, you're good, Henrietta. Okay, Freddie, do you see a pattern how we get our numerators and denominators in our answer? I do, I do. We multiply the numerators together and we multiply the denominators together. It works every time. That's right, Freddie. Woohoo! 
Okay, kids, it's your turn. You can do it.